Nice to meet you. My name is Chang Hwan Lee. I'm working on Seoul National University of Science and Technology as an assistant professor. It's my honor to present my research on IDDRG 2020. My presentation topic is the incremental forming process to increase the geometric accuracy. The title is Two-Stage Single-Point Incremental Forming Process for Reducing Sectional Deformation. Sheet incremental forming process is a typical example of the flexible manufacturing process. It requires three basic devices such as the tool, holder, and the material. The tip of the tool was connected to the three-dimensional CNC machine. The tool moves along the dedicated tool path. As you can see in the movies, the tool moves along the design tool path. The procedure of the sheet incremental forming process is shown in the below figure. The first, the CAD data was generated from the CAD program. After that, the tool path was generated through the CAM process. Using the generated G code, the sheet was formed in the three dimensional CNC tool. The sheet incremental forming process is on CNC based forming technology such as 3D printing. The advantage of the sheet incremental forming process is here. Uh, the advantage of the forming process is e uh, the one is the increased formability. It improves formability than other forming process. The incremental forming process has advantages in various product and flexibility. Small quantity and small batch production is well fitted to the incremental forming process. Also, it did not require a dedicated die set. As a result, the sheet incremental forming process have many applications. I will show some examples of the sheet incremental forming process. The section of the Shinkansen and the section of the ship hull plate were manufactured as a prototype. For another examples are very complex geometries. The sheet incremental forming process does not require die set. This process can manufacture various geometry very easily. Last year, Nissan developed robot-based incremental forming process. They manufactured automotive part for repair. For flexible manufacturing, the sheet incremental forming process is one of the promising solutions. I'll explain the histories of the sheet incremental forming process. The first figure shows the origin of the incremental forming process. The sheet increment sheet forming using tools such as rollers holding elastomers and sheet metal on a rotating bed. And the next, Iseki developed the concept of the single point incremental forming process. He employed three-dimensional CNC machine in the forming process. Sheet forming using a three-dimensional tool pass of a CNC machine and a small and simple round tool was employed in the forming process. The single point incremental forming process has many advantages. However, the low geometric accuracy was the main problem. I will present about the sectional deflection in the single point single point incremental forming process. When the holder is employed only, when the tool moves with the developed G-code, there should be a geometric error as shown in the figure. The skirt spring back, section deflection, and the difference in the final forming height is the main problems. When the tool connects the material, there is an unwanted bending deformation in the material. The part section deflection is caused by the force of the blank holder for fixing the sheet and the tool for forming the sheet. The part section deflection limits the incremental forming process to fabricate the precise shaped product. In order to increase geometric accuracy, the two point incremental forming process was developed. Partial die and the pull die were employed in many applications. Nowadays, 3D printing and sectional die set were employed as a die set in the two-point incremental forming process. 
Employing a simplified die set, pool or pasha, improves the geometric accuracy of the incremental forming process. Also, the double-sided incremental forming process was developed. When the pool or pasha die was employed, it cannot make flexible forming process. Instead of the die set, the tool with the robot arm was employed. The addition of a moving tool was employed in two form simultaneously at the bottom and top of the sheet metal. The added tool acts as a supporting tool. So I'll explain the objective this, of this work. The objective of this work is to reduce the pulse section deflection in single point incremental forming process. For that, we have employed two stage forming process and effect of the second incremental forming process. In this slide, I will explain the concept of the two stage incremental forming process. The first incremental forming process is the same as the conventional incremental forming process. After finishing the first incremental forming process, the sheet was rotated and the second incremental forming process, such as the counter incremental forming process, was applied. In the counter incremental forming process, the two present counter deformation where the section deflection occurs. The next chart shows a flow chart of the two stage forming process. I will explain the detailed procedure in the next slide. In this movie, you can see the detailed procedure of the two-stage incremental forming process. After finishing the first incremental forming process, the sheet was rotated. After that, the lower round region where the section deflection occurs was pushed with the tool. Finally, the section deflection and the square spring back decrease. In this work, we have studied the two-stage incremental forming process and their impacts on the final geometry. The next slide shows the experimental setup. In experiment, aluminum 5052 was employed. The yield strength is 183 MPa and the tensile strength is 230 MPa. The elongation of the material was 11%. Typical application of this material is for marine aircraft architecture, general sheet metal working. The size of the workpiece and the holder is 150mm by 150mm. The form of region is 100mm by 100mm. The thickness of the material is 1mm. We have used the three-dimensional CNC machine, such as Namsung NR35 machine. The radius of the tool was 4mm, and the geometry was measured using the 3D scanner. The sectional view was compared with the cap geometry. This presentation shows the toolpaths of two-stage incremental forming process. In the first incremental forming process, the variable is not changed. The variables are written in here. The R in was 35 mm and R out was 10 mm. The angle of the conical curve is 60 degree and the incremental forming height delta G was 0.3 mm. The G code was generated using the MATLAB. In the second incremental forming process, the tool path is disc shaped. The tool presents the counter deformation to the region where the section deflection occurs. The R in and R out of the second stage was fixed. The variable in the second increment forming process is delta G. In this work, the forming conditions such as the spin speed and the feed rate was kept constant. The spin speed is 200 revolution per minute and the feed rate was 2000 mm per minute.
I will explain about the experimental result of the first increment forming process. The target geometry was conical curve with the radius of 35mm and angle of 60 degree. The first graph shows the section of profile. As shown in the figure, the geometry shows some difference between the experiment result and the CAT data. The round region shows section deflection and the angle of the skirt was different. Also, the height of the product is not well defined due to the skirt spring back. Through the second incremental forming process, the geometric accuracy will be improved. These figures present the two paths in the second incremental forming process. The part section deflection was characterized by the two depth parameter GD. The second forming process was carried out to reduce part section deflection delta 1. The delta 1 was measured by 3 dimension scanner. The other variables such as R in and R out was fixed. Using the first op order optimization, the optimal value of GD to resulting this curve spring back to be zero was found. This slide shows the determination of the optimal GD. The first graph shows the deformed geometry in the section according to the value of GD. As the GD value is decreasing, the angle of the skirt region is decreasing. The direction of the spring back change. We have drawn a graph of the skirt spring back with respect to GD. We have found GD resulting in angle theta to be zero. The third order polynomial was employed in the optimization. The GD of 0.63 mm was predicted to make skirt spring back to be zero. We have conducted with experiment with GD of 1.63 mm. As you can see in the graph, the angle of the skirt was zero. However, there was high difference with the value of 2.35 mm from the CAT data. In order to compensate the high difference in the experiment, we have changed the toolpath of the first incremental forming process. The difference of the height was 2.35 mm. The R in was modified to 36.36 mm, which resulted in the H of 45.65 mm. The geometric error in the height was compensated in the first incremental forming process. The other forming conditions are the same as the previous forming conditions. This figure presents the experimental result with the modified toolpath. We have compensated the toolpath in the first incremental forming process. The toolpath, uh, by changing the first toolpath, the result of the second incremental forming process was changed. The light figure shows the three dimensional scanning result. We have compare the geometric accuracy quantitatively. This figure compares the geometric error between the experimental result and the CAT data. The section deflection of the round region and the mean value of the section shape error was measured. As you can see in the figure, the geometric accuracy has been improved so much. After the second incremental forming process, the section deflection delta decreased by 67%. At the same time, after the second increment forming process, the mean value of the section shape error delta M decreased by 37%. We have applied the two-stage incremental forming forming process to the incremental forming forming process of the other geometries. The shape shape was employed in this paper. The shape her shape was simplified with the length L height H with W and the forming height theta. 
the length was 70mm and H was 22mm and the W was 38mm. This section shows the experimental result of the first and the second incremental forming process. In the optimization process of the second incremental forming process was conducted with the same method in the previous section. In this example, the optimal value of GA was 1.67 mm. The forming conditions are summarized in two tables. As you can see in the right figure, through the second incremental forming process, the skirt spring back and the forming height was compensated. And these figures present the experimental lizard and the 3D scan lizard. And we have also compared ge the geometry getter quantitatively. The geometry getter between the CAD data and the experimental lizard was compared. The detailed comparison is shown in the table. After the second incremental forming process, the section deflection decreased by 78% and the mean value of the section shape error decreased by 40%. In this study, we proposed a novel method to reduce section deflection in conical shape by incremental shoot forming process. The counter single point incremental forming process, the second incremental forming process can reduce shape error from the single point incremental forming process and it can decrease the skirt spring back effectively. However, the height of the product decreased. In order to compensate the product, we have modified the tool pass in the first incremental forming process. By changing the tool pass in the first incremental forming process, the result of the second incremental forming process was improved. In this example, the skirt spring back angle was decreased to 0 0.05 degree. The section deflection delta decreased by 67% and the mean value was decreased by 37%. For another example, the ship her shape was adopted. Through the two-stage incremental point process, the section deflection decreased by 78%. Therefore, it is shown that the proposed method is very effective to reduce section deflection in conical shape through the incremental point process. Thank you for your kind attention.